Which kind of man terrifies you the most? A man who comes off as the nicest guy in the world who is actually demeaning, violent, aggressive. Yet everyone who knows him thinks he's amazing. My ex-boyfriend used to break me down in very subtle ways. He'd build me up, tell me I was beautiful, act like a doting boyfriend. Then whack me with a subtle insult that would have me questioning my sanity. Or instead of outright saying I'm not going to that party and you can't either. He would drive me there, tell me to have fun, then pick a text fight with me when he got home. To purposely ruin my night. It was sneaky enough that it took me years to realize that he was doing this as a way to control me. That terrified me the most. Abusive men who are sneaky enough not to seem abusive. So that you question your sanity. Incels. The level of hostility they feel towards women because they aren't getting what they think they are owed from them is insane. They seem so unhinged. I've literally learned that anyone is capable of anything, at any time. That being said, men with serious underlying mental health issues, tempers, and the lack of ability to humble themselves and seek help for any of it. Rapey ones, I guess? Extended car warranty salesmen are a close second. Pick me boys. You know the ones. Teve never had a girlfriend I guess it's because I'm so ugly, sad face. I'm such a nice guy but girls just overlook me for the hot ones, sad face. Because you know they are absolutely not a nice guy. He a key some of the most manipulative, delusional guys you could ever come across. Like, emotionally slash verbally abuse you and then start crying about how their mom left them as. Kids when you call them out for it, and they're going to do something harmful to themselves. Yikes. Men who react to any difficult emotion by becoming angry slash violent. Men with horrible tempers. First it's yelling. Then it's throwing things or knocking holes in the wall. Then it's hitting. Everybody loses it sometimes. But that deep, sudden explosive anger is my cue to run on the first offense. The kind who don't respect boundaries. The nice guy. They are often the most dangerous because you feel safer, if they do something others are less likely to believe it, and so often find they secretly, or not so secretly, have a sense of entitlement. I'm 18, so pretty much any older man. Got a new night manager at my job, at least 40 YRS old, and I close with him most nights. At first, I thought he was amazing he was nice, would make sure I got to my car safely, etc. I dyed my hair yesterday and today he said it looked sexy. The other night he said that when I leave to go to college, he'll buy a bottle of moat to celebrate with me. I told him. I wasn't old enough to drink, and he said we can do it in private, I won't tell anyone. Because of men like this, I've learned to be very guarded around older men. I shouldn't have to live and think like this. This is kind of an obvious one but misogynists. I have met a few men that absolutely just hate women and think that they are inferior. One of my exes was like this and used to act like I should want to be submissive, and that sticking up for myself or wanting to do my own thing was a sign I was mentally ill. Narcissists and psychos. Anyone who is violent. And Red Pill slash MRA, incels basically Kevin Samuel fans. Aggressive men and the ones who won't respect boundaries. IG the scariest ones are the ones who seem nice and normal and then end up revealing they're aggressive and nasty. Psychopath or sociopath. Excellent at masking like a normal person but it's 100% about him 24-7. The megalomaniacs. The despots, the cult leaders. The pathologically egoist, bottomless pits of people who don't care what they do or say as long as it serves to empower or enrich them. They have no actual ideology and no true loyalties to anyone but themselves. The ones who'd sooner see their kingdoms burn to the ground before they relinquish power. The type who'd try to take everyone else out. With them. Kim Jong-un, Jim Jones, David Korsh, Joseph Stalin, Warren Jeffs, Jeffrey Epstein. I'd personally include a lot of contemporary populist Iliadurs. Historically, Men like that have ordered systemic abuse and mass suicides, instigated genocides, undone decades of progress, ruined entire economies, and come very close to ending the world. One day, they just might. Cops. Yes. I don't like cops, in America, in general, 
but male cops make me feel so fucking unsafe. There is such an imbalance of power there that makes me so scared. Also, when you look at how cops treat men that have committed crimes against women, it's a million times worse. One that doesn't take no for an answer. Regardless of about what. Regardless of how innocent it seems. The love bomber. A guy who tells you how wonderful you are and then the first fight you have he tears you down in every way possible. It never gets better. People usually think this guy is such a nice guy and he is good at playing the victim. One's carrying guns. One's surrounded by enablers. One that demands 100% of my attention, and then gets absolutely pissed when I don't respond fast enough for them. Ones that don't respect you but trick you into thinking they do. I can't stand angry men. I don't like or understand people who blow up in general, but I've never met a woman who indulged in their tendency to snap at the smallest thing. I'm sure they exist, but while I have known some short-tempered women, they are always more reserved about it. My ex-boyfriend's dad once screamed at his 15-year-old daughter from a couple of inches away from her face because she was humming and he was in a bad mood. How pathetic do you have to be before you have that little control over your own behavior? The kind who share feminist rhetoric on social media as a means to lure girls in by appearing as a guy who gets it when in reality, they too, are manipulative lil creeps to women beneath the surface. The ones who can't handle no without fitting like a toddler. Boundary pushers. Men who seem to be hurting me into a course of action. Narcissistic sociopaths who lack empathy and have a strong need to be in control. Anyone who has no emotions and lacks awareness. That goes for for a man or a woman. Not terrified but anytime a guy is like a smooth talker slash sweet talker I just have the instinct to walk far far away from them. The manipulative ones or the ones who know you well enough to know how to fuck with your emotions. Example, if you're fighting with your boyfriend or husband and they quickly say sorry and then try to hug you or lean in for a kiss just so you can shut up and stop talking about something that bothers you. Dishonest slash untrustworthy. I'd rather be physically frightened than on edge about the former. The man who is so nice, sweet, accommodating. He is agreeable, never gets mad. Yet there is subtle covert manipulation that occurs. Things like insinuation, suddenly talking about other women, playing victim to get your sympathy, and trying to make you jealous. You feel like crap and stay awake at night with your mind spinning, wondering what he meant and if you're not the only one. Men who can't handle a no. Any dismissal of respect for your boundaries is a red flag and should be the moment you walk away. A hasty generalization, but in my opinion any guy that's really into anime is a red flag for me. LVE just had too many bad experience with weird Lolita fetishizers. Men who pretend to be your friend but in the blink of an eye, go from friend to enemy. Since having a boyfriend, a lot of my guy friends have been perfectly normal, but then all of the sudden after I get my BF, they make one really nasty, really inappropriate comment or reply that makes me feel unsafe to be around them and I have to end it. Like why? Why pretend to be my friend if in the long? Paul you're going to try to hit it. Men who have never heard the word no. I'm college, had a few run-ins with the privileged frat boys who had their daddy's credit cards when bartending, following me home and whatnot, and those guys are the ones who grow up the lead fortune 500 companies. The short temper, the disregard for people they see as beneath them, the hatred for women, while simultaneously wanting to possess them. They should not be in charge of anything. Ones that hold your hand and move it towards their dick but keep pulling on your hand closer even when you're pulling away. Men who don't respect boundaries and only treat you like a piece of meat will always be the worst for me, even though I know how to properly defend myself. I feel like any dude who looks at me for too long is thinking about unpleasant actions. PSBTW, your Lego piece was ugly you. Rapey piece of shit.